What's up, fam? Welcome to another episode of the Kings Vibe Podcast. Uh, so today we're continuing our conversation about reputation and how reputation is really good for yourself, your business, your education, whatever it is that you're into and, and how people see your reputation. Uh, we're going to kick off this episode by calling into Guam to a very good friend of ours. He's a businessman. He's an entrepreneur. He's a CEO of Million Dollar Mind Frame. And he's going to talk to us about how reputation kind of is seen on the business front. Uh, let's see if we got him on the line. Hello, AK? Yo, yo, yo. Let's get, get, get it. <laughs> yeah. <There> it is. <laughs> What's going on, man? How you doing? How's Guam? Hey, man. Doing good, man. Guam is great. I love it. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, you need to come back to the States, man. Nah, man. I'm staying over here, man. Y'all got too much friction over there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 well, w- welcome, welcome to uh, welcome to our podcast today. So today we're talking about reputation and how reputation is seen on the business front. And you've been a CEO and you've been in business for for a lot of years now. What do you think is the reputation's role in business? First off, man, hey man, salute on the show, salute on the podcast. Thanks for having. Me. Thank you. Um, Reputation, credibility, all of that plays big into business. Um, people don't care about what you're selling, um, what 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 your business model. They don't they don't, they don't care what you know. what I'm saying what you're trying to present. They care about um, your proficiency and your consistency. They like to see um, they like to see your track record. So, um, being coming from both sides, coming from you know the streets and then joining the military, joining the navy, and then crossing over and, and getting into entrepreneurship and getting into business, it kind of, they kind of correlate. The streets and business kind of correlate. You got a bad, you got a bad rep, you got a bad reputation in the streets. Nobody don't want to deal with you. You know what I'm saying? Um, like you were saying earlier, reputation and promotion and advertisement, it can go both ways. It can either be good for you or it can either be bad. There's no such thing as um, no promotion because if it's bad, it's simple. Folks not going to want to do business with you. They're not going to want to deal with you. Um, and that's how you limit yourself on the business side and the entrepreneur side. Uh, it's nothing that you can do solely by yourself and trying to be successful and uh, tap into different areas of business. You need multiple, you need multiple relationships with people. And the only way to have those type of relationships is uh, having a credible uh, reputation and the only way you can have that, you know, is, is positive, being positive. So everything is about positivity on the, in the business world, being coachable and being humble. So you definitely want to have your reputation and credibility is the, the most important thing because it's going to be people that's way successful than you. Uh, it's people that that's um, in a better position than you and you want to learn, you want to grow, and you want to uh, learn how to build your business model and, and build your platform. So you have to be able to be in relationships with those type of people. The only way you could be in those type of relationships, you know, if you have a good reputation, because folks don't want to deal with bad people. Gotcha, gotcha. I think one one thing that struck a note, you know, and, and it struck a high note when when you said it was being coachable. And I think Peanut has said that in our last uh, in our live podcast. But not to give away, you know, a lot of your business strategies. But how did you, as the CEO of uh, MDMF Million Dollar Mind Frame? build your reputation? How did you start off? I built my reputation based off me as a person, who I am. Um, million dollar mind frame isn't about me being a million. It's about me having that million dollar mind frame. Um, and, and that comes from being positive. It's everything about being positive. Um, as Whether I'm working, whether I'm working out, whether I'm a father, whether I'm a friend, no matter what it is, what I got going on, you the most important thing to be successful in life is you have to use your own mind. You have to be your own self. <clears throat> so part of my business model is just being true to me. What what are my goal is? My goal is inspiring people. You know what I'm saying? And how do I inspire people? I inspire people through um, clothes. I inspire people through my actions and how I am as a person. But I have to use my mind because we also have to remember, you know what I'm saying? You can only go as far as how you can only go as far as how what you put your mind to, you know what I'm saying, what you set yourself out to be. So my business model is always being positive. 
You know what I'm saying? People used to say, I ain't selling uh, I ain't selling hope, selling dope. That's what they sell on the streets. But you selling positivity. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Everything is about positivity. People love positive people. That's what people want to be around. Positive vibes. That's what people want to be around. You know, the same way on the team. When I was on the team, you know, we talk about reputation. What do people know me for? You know what I'm saying? I always running around streaming. Let's get, get, get it. Being motivated, being positive. You know what I'm saying? So that all goes back into having that million dollar mind frame. You know what I'm saying? Keeping your mind stable. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, we all go through things. You know what I'm saying? We, we life, life is our cherry. You know what I'm saying? But that mind is that calibration tool in life. You know what I'm saying? To keep us stable, to keep us going, keep us grounded. Hey, so it sounds like you're you're wearing a hat to wear a hat to wear another hat, and you're, you're executing it like finally, like so. Uh, when it comes to reputation, how how does that play a part into like your business? You, you being a, a great father, being a, a great role model, and building your reputation that way to building a, a great role model and uh, building your reputation in your business, and then not your business but your line of work, and then uh, your your business after that as a CEO of uh, MDMF. Man, you want to know this crazy story? Uh, I I just came over there for emergency leave. I had lost a family member to COVID, and. Uh, during that time, I was like, okay, I'm coming back to the States. And um, every time I go somewhere, I try to make another business model of mine is every, anywhere I go, I try to make a relationship or connection with some type of business person there, you know, and, t- and, and expand. Um, go to a cigar lounge or, you know, go to places where businessmen like to hang out, you know what I'm saying, just relax, you know what I'm saying, to meet new people and start a conversation. With that being said, I went home and... Uh, I'm um, actually in the process of opening a clothing store. Um, and um, it's, it's actually getting renovated right now. In Atlanta? And uh, back at home, yeah. Okay. Back at home. Not in Atlanta, but back at home. Um, so I went there, and I met I met this met this dude that owned this whole block. He owned every building on this block in, in the town where I'm from. And uh, I introduced myself through a mutual friend, you know, that put me in a position to be able to have this conversation with this man about, you know what I'm saying, having this building. And I didn't even have to say much. He knew who I was. And I was surprised that this man even knew who I was. And this man, you know, he's, he's Mexican. He's a Hispanic. He's a businessman. He's an older, he's an older man. You know, he been, he been in business for a while. So, to see that he don't even he never seen me before, but he heard he he has he has heard of me, you know, and everything that he heard of, heard about me was all positivity, you know. So um, and it was all it was all a good reputation. Um, so man, it's just crazy. You think that you meet certain people that's trying to put you in position. Sometimes they already watching you, you know. Or they already has a grasp of who you are and what you have going on. Um, it just it just a matter it's a matter of time when you getting putting yourself in those type of positions, man. And million dollar mind frame, it just you know, it just it's more it's more than about, you know what I'm saying, the clothes. It's about being an inspirational tool to the culture, spreading positivity, you know, because neg- negativity travels faster than positivity. Yep, I agree. Uh, I mean, yeah, I can, man, so I can be a, st- uh, a testament to this to what AK is saying right now, man. Like I used to work with this man, like on the road. Like I, I used to go to a whole lot, and I get in the car with this dude, and he all positive. No matter what's going on during the day, like this man positive. So like that stuff got have an effect on you. So I learned a lot. Like even though he a younger brother, I learned a lot from this dude. Like me from meeting this dude, from being on, in the sixth spot, going to a whole lot, the, my first year on um, you know, on the team, and learning from this dude, going going up for um the stuff that I went up for, getting the position that I went I went through. Like he has a lot to do with it because a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff, I dealt with my very first year on um in the place of work where I where we work at. If he wasn't for this dude being so positive in the morning, man, <laughs> I would get in a whole lot of trouble. So you know his personal reputation. So I yeah. ended up, I ended up uh, hitting up with Kusi. Kusi hit me up and told me that he he got some nice slippers. I said, "Oh, 
they look good. <laughs> I, ended up doing the same, I get the same slippers, and I was like, nah, they ain't gonna be so comfortable. These <laughs> things are nice. So I, I can agree. So not only is it off your personal actions and all that other good stuff, it, it can be tied to your business. And I can see how mm-hmm. wearing a hat, wearing a hat, wearing a hat, another hat, you gotta keep good quality business and not only good quality business, but your reputation to back it. Yep. You have to keep your word. You have to keep pushing. Yeah. And all the other so let's, let's, let's swing it to another level. And I think Peanut, Peanut definitely has something to say about this one. It's your reputation, your your credibility. Yeah, your reputation is your credibility. Um, because if you, how put? I mean, yes and no. Actually, now that I think about it, so my reputation says Peanut can do X, Y, Z, mm-hmm. right? My reputation say it, so people expect it from me. Okay. So now if I do not fulfill X, Y, Z, now my credibility is shot. But if I do fulfill X, Y, Z, especially in a efficient, expeditious uh, manner, oh, like I tell my son, I say three E's. You want to get far in life, son, you need three E's. You need to be effective. You need to be efficient. You need to be expeditious. If you can get those three, three E's, you can do anything you want to do. So if I do X, Y, Z in those three ways, right, then my credibility, my reputation is going to feed my credibility and my credibility is going to feed my reputation. So it's like a, I don't even know how to put it. Like it's cyclical. It's perpetual. One feeds the other. And if one of them fall off, then the other, it's still going to feed each other. But now it's going to feed each other in a bad way. Mm. So you get to choose the polarity that you want to go. Do you want to go positive or do you want to go negative? So if Kusi's like, Yo, peanut out here. I know this dude. Um, uh, he 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 gonna hook it up. He know people who know people who know people who gonna get you hooked up with this one thing. And you send them over to me, and if I hook them up, then that reputation, that credibility is gonna build itself. And this person can, if this person tells somebody else and say, "Hey man, I went to peanut. He hooked me up, and I went to peanut because Kusi told me about it. So he hooked Kusi up. He hooked me up. So I know he gonna hook you up." And now my reputation is feeding my credibility, and my credibility is feeding my reputation at the same time. That's a street cred, bro. No, I was it's just about to say the same exact thing. That's that street cred. Hey, that's what it is, man. That's that street cred. Right? Honestly, that, that's what we call the uh, the proper call for this one is the uh, the X and the check factor. That's what they call it. So certain people just go to their mind and put like an X on the shit the stuff that you can't do is, is that what you do for your master's degree or something I, <laughs> hey, hey 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 bro I'm you just gotta saying. hit you gotta hit them so, wiggins bro it's the X and the check factor so if you can't do it you out of it you know what I'm saying yeah. if you can't do it you're in the book for it so next time I get a call hey this guy can do such and such. This guy can actually um, get my uh, my paperwork done at the end of the year for my taxes so I'm going to call this guy because he's going to get me right with the IRS and stuff like that, you know? So I can rely on this guy. So the X and the check factor. So can you do it or can't? Oh, you can't. Move on to the next guy. Simple. Man, so crazy you talk about taxes, man. So I had this dude in Virginia. (laughs) 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 So I had this dude in Virginia, right? And everybody talking about him. Everybody, talk, you know, like they're like, yo, he's the best CPPA, whatever they call it. CPA, bro. Come C- on, come on, man. I'm not my kind of guy. That's you. <laughs> they're like, yo, he's the best dude to file your taxes. Blah 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 blah. Right. So first year, I give it to him. Man, mess it up bad. Right. <laughs> he messed it up bad. I'm like, yo, I could have done better. I thought this was your man. What? <laughs> but guess what? The second year, second year with him. I went back. You know why? Why? Because people in people in the streets were still talking about him, talking about how good he is. So even though I had a bad experience, his reputation was still going up. Street cred was. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I, I got something for. Him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I do need to go I'm find on. him though. Real quick, real quick. <laughs> Second year, did he mess him up? Mess him up or not? It was okay. It didn't make up for the first one. Okay. So his reputation wasn't what it was. It wasn't what it was. Ah. What, what was it him or was it him? Uh, I think it was you. Get I think, it? I think, I think, <laughs> you, you gotta understand street credit. That, that, that's how y'all do it. Not so much street credit. You gotta you gotta feed through the um, 
reputation and, and pick and choose your reputation that you see through people too as well. But uh, come going out there to Guam uh, or out, out to UAK. So from from my knowledge, Guam is new to you, right? Yeah. So you going out there, it's a new place for you, new line of work, new line of business, and you're trying to be a CEO out there from a distance. Uh, how, how does uh, all this tie into you? How, how does uh, reputation, you trying to build reputation in a new place, new era, with your business tie into you? Um, reputation, well, I'm, I'm going to use street terminology because <laughs> I do both. I Well, you know, I... I, I, I'm not now, but you know, um, it is what it is. Keep going. Being able to, <laughs> <laughs> you know, once once you have that credit, once you have that credit, uh, credibility, like Peanut was saying, man, it's really, you know, rep is opinionated. You know what I'm saying? That's all the word of mouth. You know, that's all opinion. But credible is that work ethic. You know what I'm saying? What are you? What are you capable of doing? What have you done? What's your line of work? You know what I'm saying? You have a bad rep of people, you still can be prosperous because people know that whatever you got going on, whatever service you offer, you know, you, you, you're an expert at it. You know what I'm saying? You're good at it. So, um, with that being said, the logistical part is probably will be the biggest challenge, you know, by being here, you know what I'm saying? But having people that I have such close business relationship with back in the States, I'm able to, you know, still, make things happen that, like I need to for, for my for my business, you know. And then, you know, venturing out into other parts. I love fitness, you know, and fitness is my thing. And being here in Guam, it's kind of different, you know. They don't have they don't have L.A. fitnesses here. They don't have uh, Planet Fitness. They have one franchise of gyms here, you know. And I pay for access to go to every single gym in that one franchise, you know. And, with, mm-hmm. and, within, and within one, one – within a month – that it was open, I had already made my had a made, made a name for myself around the island. Yeah. People started knowing who I who I was, and all those gym, all those personal so, trainers. So you're telling me you started knowing who I was. You're building reputational um, re- reputational ties to build your reputation. That, that, I, I like that. It's, it's like networking, but you, you use your yeah. reputation and everybody to to help you with your reputation statewide, especially being in Guam and being so far away. All over. Uh, I would say a quarter of the way around the world. So uh, I think that's really cool. And then also uh, streaming out through Guam and putting your name out there already. You ain't been out there that long, you know? But that's, 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 yeah, I've been here eight, almost eight, eight months. I've been here almost eight months. And already people, you know, people know who I am. Uh, the gym franchise themselves have, you know what I'm saying, posted me on a gym franchise page, yeah, you know. I, it's, I heard they changed the name to uh, AK. <laughs> But that's that's one of the good things about building a good reputation though. You know, there's there's a lot of good treats that come with just that reputation, you know. Like I'm pretty sure if AK showed up at the gym on a Sunday if it's if it was closed, right? Mm -hmm. Just because they know that he's just not gonna come in and just play around, they're probably gonna open it up for him just so he can work out, you know, because he has built that reputation, Mm -hmm. you know. But we do have a lot more coming. Thank you very much for sticking around. And let us know what you think. You know, drop drop some comments in there and share, subscribe to our YouTube channel so we can bring more. Thank you. Be safe.